Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Side. How the devil are you, mate? Today, we're going to be looking at a little channel called That Is Impossible or Impossible. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. We all love this channel, mate. We all love this channel, okay? And this one is a freaky deaky one. It's called No Way. Videos that are freaking viewers out. But before we get into that one, mate, check out this. Are you tired of playing the same old boring mobile phone game? Or if you're American, cell phone game? Are you tired of seeing the same old boring graphics? Are you tired of hearing the mundane storyline? Well then get rid of your phone! No, no. Well then what you need is Raid Shadow! Raid Shadow Legends! So thank you so much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Raid Shadow Legends is a free RPG mobile phone game with epic graphics, mate. I'm telling you. Graphics you can zoom in, spin around, and like cut scenes and everything like that, mate. It's, it's like, I, I like my graphics, okay? If you know me, you know when I game, I have to have constant action. And Raid Shadow Legends, mate, it gives you action on another level. You can head off into the dungeons and face like massive bosses. You dive into the player versus player fights as well, which is really good because there's a massive social aspect to this game. There's a huge community on Reddit and Discord where you can discuss like strategies, look for tips and guides and things like that. So you can just casually pick up and play this game, but if you wanted to, you can dive deep into upgrading your champions, upgrading your team, and then go to battle and just test all of your ideas. Raid has got something very special for all new players this Christmas. Get ready to celebrate the 12 days of Raid. All you need to do is click the link below in the description and then copy your player ID and then set out on a fun festive adventure that lasts 12 days running from December 19th to January the 10th. Each day experience a new chapter of the wintry story and play a new mini game for a chance to win the amazing in-game and real life prizes including holiday themed rain champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to a thousand dollars. Plus, you can also get the legendary champion based off of the MMA pro wrestling legend Ronda Rousey free right now, whether a new or a long time player. Just by logging into Raid, all you've got to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and February 20th and Ronda's yours. To celebrate Ronda's arrival, just use the special promo code Raid Ronda, available for all users, new and old, to get a bunch of helpful stuff like 3 days 100% XP boost, 500k silver, and 5 full energy refills. So if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click that link in the description or scan this code here and you get your unique bonuses worth $35, like this epic champion Jotun. So there you go, no wonder it's played by over 80 million players, mate, okay? Make sure you do the thing, download and play Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, without further ado, our diddly day, let's do this. Shh. A few go on, that is impossible. I don't want to look, mate, I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, but a lot of the time, like. he puts I've never seen stuff anything in, like it. And, and you don't actually ever of, see uh, any of that. Sparkling lights on. And it's like an introduction. I don't know what's just, going on. Do you see that? Oh my god. Uh, you I don't see it, man. I'm not really looking. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Maximum intro, please. Hi, I'm Jim hey, Fur, and you're watching the Impossible hey. Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today we're going to be taking a look at creepy, strange, and unexplained videos that will definitely make you say no way. No way. Don't forget to subscribe to my new shorts channel. Link is under the description. And if you want to contact me with strange videos, that impossible channel at gmail.com. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Impossible, mate. Impossible. 
Wow. Now, I don't know about Aurora. you, but when it's a beautiful night Northern outside, Lights. I usually like to lay down and watch the stars. Mate, I would love to go. I'd be, uh, that'd be so trippy to see that, man. The moon and the sky in general, and I keep asking myself if it's really just us, human beings, as a rational and intelligent race in the universe. And I guess that most of the times, lots of people ask themselves this exact question. Let me, let me just show you something, right? Okay, this is my theory. If we are less than, less than that, like that is our solar system, like literally. How can we possibly be the only ones in all of this? Like, right? hey, come on. And I guess that most of the times, lots of people ask themselves this exact question. Into the Brazilian room. Is it just us? Or is there maybe something else out there? Is that somebody just flashing a, a torch? Or if you're American, flashlight. Or British. Now recently the internet has been completely baffled by this topic for some reason. And there have been several videos popping up on social media and many other places mm. that may be evidence of something else out there. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay, so look, I've, I, I I found that out. Somebody literally spoiled it for me on Twitter, okay? Basically, this here, let me just go back slightly. This here, okay? What you see there is a reflection from what is actually on Earth. I'm so gutted, okay? Because the video that I did with the, the Vegas, um, with all the aliens, the lights and stuff like that, it's just a reflection, man. It, go, I, I, it linked me a video and I saw it and it's so legit, like, it's so explainable. They even had a map and then they mirrored it and they said, look, there it is. A map of Vegas and they mirrored it and there it was shining in the fucking sky. Thanks a lot. Hey, the last time I'm going to be looking at any of those videos, mate, because I just, uh, I'm so gutted. But I've never seen anything like it. It had a bunch of... Uh... One of the Sparkling most recent videos that have been baffling internet users all over social media was supposedly recorded in Everett in Washington. This is what was seen. Check this out. What the hell? That's moving, mate. Why doesn't anybody have one of these phones? Okay, I better not move it because I'm hot spotting this thing right now. Just zoom in, mate. Maximum. See the bloody pilot there. Let's go. Look at it, man. Glowing. To be fair, it is at night. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I've never seen anything like it. It had a bunch of... Uh sparkling lights on and yeah, stuff. That's right. oh, that was at first like what appears out. to be a balloon hovering very slowly over Everett can be seen then when the person zooms in we can observe several tiny spots of light shining all over the object man it's it, beautiful though right this thing is it's not producing any sound as in a drone so it's not one and it might just not be a balloon so what is it that looks like the, the underbelly of it and that's like a wing, maybe. And that's the cockpit. I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Hot spotting, mate. Hot spotting. Look at you go. But it doesn't stop there, and things just get even stranger in Bogota when a couple of weeks ago Lucas Villafoyes captured something chilling while working at his home. Now, Lucas has a very interesting social media profile, but he usually posts things about his daily life. It has absolutely nothing to do with mysterious, strange or creepy things caught on camera. But in one specific occasion, Lucas noticed something really strange hovering just next to him and he was able to capture it all on camera and this is what, what? he saw. What? Is... Is that just a floating dildo in the air, mate? What appears to be Maximum a cylinder dildo. type object can be seen hovering just next to Luca's property. In the video, we can see it flying straight into the woods. With two bollocks hanging at the end of it, mate. And disappear. 
Completely baffled by what he just saw, Lucas stayed there and recorded more videos in hopes of capturing it again. It's gone into the tree. It's gone into the bush. <laughs> Había un objeto re raro, boludo, que fue volando de ahí hasta ahí, chabón derecho. Hasta ahí en la cara. Se las mata, boludo, y se metió. Estaba re zarpado, boludo. ¿Qué? Sale de vuelta. After posting the video to his account, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. Internet users were divided and baffled. While some state that this could be a drone or maybe a cable wave of some sort, Others left comments saying that this could actually be a mysterious object going into a cave. And this is the reason the object... Yeah, I don't think it's anything alien-like. ...disappears straight into the woods. Now, Lucas did his best and he went over to that mountain to find out more. And this is what he captured on camera. Oh, here we go, look. Por el tamaño de los árboles, podemos darnos cuenta de que era... Sí. ...bien grande lo que pasó por acá. Ah. Uh -huh. Pasó por acá y no sé si habrá sido ahí o ahí. Eh, parece un tema. Well, fair shout for him to go in over there and investigate him, mate. El esférico no es porque cables no hay. Después, un dron se escucharía. Esto hace mucho eco y no, no puede ser que pase un, un dron sin hacer ruido. Igual que un avión a control remoto, lo mismo. Sería, haría ruido igual. Dejo su interpretación. Ahí hay pura mata nomás. No hay lugar para aterrizar nada. It appears that whatever this thing was. It probably wasn't a drone, and it's not a cable way, so what is it? A paper aeroplane? I don't know. Curious, Lucas continues climbing the mountain, and he finds a cave. It could maybe answer why the object simply disappears. Oh, so it could be aliens then, mate, coming into this cave and disappearing. What's in, what's in the bloody mountain, or hill, whatever? But I don't know, the cave doesn't seem to be as large as the mm. object is. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? Could it be that this object went into a cave of some sort and vanished inside the mountain? I and don't know. Where did this object come from? What's your take? I, I, I've, got a, I've got a funny thing. It's one of these things where somebody just threw something, right? And they made a glider of some sort and somebody's just happened to capture it and go, what the F is that? I think. But these kinds of mysterious phenomena just keep occurring and last week, during Halloween, a video went viral of what appears to be a glitch in the sky. The video was captured in China and the source is unknown. Check this out. A glitch in the sky? Unfortunately, the video is really short, maybe suggesting that this could be faked or something like that. However, if we pay attention to it and watch it over and over, we can see that the people on the street are all observing the same thing on that. Yeah. Now, okay, so before I, when I mentioned about this video being sent to me, it was like that, that thing in Vegas was pretty clear, but not as clear as that, not as not glowing like that. So is that one of those things? I can't remember what they call it now, but that looks different. That really looks different, man. Cloud. So if this is the real teal, whatever this thing is, it could... That looks super sharp. ...be maybe a fleet of luminous objects. Drones or not, it's very difficult to say. No, or maybe drones. an unexplained glitch of sort. What's your take? Mm. Now, I don't know about you, but during summertime, I really enjoy traveling with my family or friends to the that's messed me up now because i was when i said that earlier i was like guaranteed now if i see any sort of lighting in the in the sky i'm gonna automatically think of that however looking at that that seemed a lot more sharp more, a lot more vivid beach and just stay for as long as i can enjoy the summer the sun the smell of the rain the beaches and everything else it's just wonderful mm. but there's one thing about summer that really bugs me and I guess that it bugs everyone, literally. And those are mosquitoes. Yeah. And I guess that no one actually likes mosquitoes and the fact that they spread lots of diseases amongst humans. But they are a part of nature. And I guess that meddling around with their genetics isn't exactly the best of ideas in the long term, in my opinion. However, recently, a video went viral on social media. 
of a man that supposedly found a mosquito and there was something really wrong about it. Oh God. This is what he saw. They're taking your DNA, mate. They're, they're, they're experimenting. They're taking your DNA. What the? In the video, a man holds a live mosquito and in it we can see imprinted somehow the number 36. The video was posted by Reddit user Dank Pepe Boy, what? and he says, "Any theories about what this is? I somehow doubt that the explanation is as simple as someone wrote a tiny 36 on it." Needless to say, internet users were completely divided about this video. Some say that this is a natural pattern, that the number 36 is just a coincidence, while others. That seems a pretty damn perfect 36, mate. State that companies have been studying on genetically modifying mosquitoes. So I immediately began to research the topic and I found what? tons of articles actually stating that companies indeed are genetically modifying mosquitoes for several reasons. What? What are the reasons, mate? What are the bloody reasons? Anyways, it to put stuff into us instead of sucking our blood, mate. They're putting shit into our blood. Oh, mate. Maximum conspiracy theory. But the thing is, look how big that the, the numbers were. You could probably only get up to a thousand. You know? I ain't gonna test much, is it? A thousand mosquitoes, mate. In your opinion, what do you think is really going on here? Okay, 999. Does this mosquito actually have a number 36 tagged on it? And why so? Or Look at it! Is it just some coincidence, like a pattern in nature where we see the number 36 because we want to? And how did this person catch a mosquito and start stroking it? What a weirdo. Get a job. What's your take? That's weird, man. Wow. It could be a badge. It could be his 36th birthday. It could be a little... Happy birthday badge. Every once in a while, people travel to a small city in the woods or in the mountains to have a good time, relax, forget about their daily chores and that kind of thing. And I guess that this is exactly what Daniel Whitehead did when he traveled to Baxter in Tennessee. Did he say Whitehead? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Your silver point on October 26th, 2022. Now Baxter being a very small town with a population of only 1500 people. Only 1500 people because he's got a massive head. <laughs> Nobody else can fit there. He's got a wide head. Is nestled among the hills and mountainous terrain of the Cumberland Plateau. So on one side of Baxter you have this beautiful place full of wildlife. And in the other side you have Cookville. A city where in the 1960s Strange things happen around this witch graveyard where Ooh. students of the Baptist Student Union used to take freshmen to this specific place to tell them stories, strange stories about this mysterious graveyard. Ooh, and it was somewhere go, around Baxter near Silver Point that <clears throat> Daniel Whitehead captured what appears to be a humanoid creature on camera. Check this out. Oh just, shit! You see that? Do you see that? I do see that! It's a goddamn gorilla thing with a human head! I'm afraid. Look at you! Look how big your bloody arms are, mate! Oh my god. It's an orangutan! Oh but his head oh is like a different Thank color. God. What appears to be a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot can be seen on a camera and Daniel is completely baffled by it. Mate, that is a different shape to what I've seen bloody Bigfoot. Bigfoot's a lot more human-like. Like, like, the shoulders are like that on it, mate. Come up here, mate. Maximum shoulder day. Some internet users believe that this could actually be just a human being using some sort of suit. However, if you take a look closely in the video, you'll see that this creature's arms are too long. Whatever this thing is... Mate, his arms are massive! They're scratching his bloody calves! Is It might just be something else other than a human being 
trying to fake a situation. Oh my. Other internet users suggest that this could actually be Bigfoot. But I'm not too sure. But this isn't the only- Still don't know about Bigfoot, mate. I'm sorry. The, the, the Bigfoot believers out there, I'm sorry, but I'm still- I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not having it. Only video this week <clears throat> that portrays something really odd captured on camera in terms of cryptids and strange creatures. What? This next video was posted by Phantom88 on Reddit and he writes, Weird artifact in CCTV camera from outside my dad's work. What you're about to watch next is one of the strangest videos that I've ever seen in Ooh. regards to cryptids. Check this out. Shush. What? Oh my god, it's got a human head on a fucking duck body, mate. Look at your- uh, why is your head over here with your, your- with your fucking brother here next to you, mate? Oh my god! At first, what appears to be a three-legged creature can be seen in the video. Some internet users suggest that this is a three-legged dog or some sort of crooked entity, one that you can see in the Conjuring to the movie. In oh. my opinion, whatever this thing is, it's a very- It's two! It's- it's one there, one there, that's one- th one there, that's his arm, another one there, and this is a three-legged thing here, a mate. Solid creature, it is not a ghost. Others- With a maximum neck! ...state that this could be, for example, camera artifact coming from the fact that this is a security camera with a certain encoding. Now even so, other internet users agree that being a camera artifact or not, it is quite impossible to make out what this is. And it doesn't look like it's a human being. Because it does look like there's some more stuff around here. At all. So whatever is going on here, it is a complete mystery. Imagine bumping into but that. It doesn't night. stop there. Javier Ruccia95 posted a very strange video of what appears to be something very similar by what was posted by Phantom88 on Reddit. Check this out. Oh no, 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 no. Don't don't jiggle about, mate. Don't jiggle about. Now Javier made a very short video of what appears to be a person walking down the street. This is until he decided to take a picture which indeed has a very much better quality, oh at least Christ. at night. Oh God. And in this picture, we can see what appears to be some sort of Fresno night crawler or something oh, like that. Oh shit, it's maximum legs, please. Completely baffling that all of these videos were published basically in the same week and they portray something really similar. And to make it even weirder, these videos were taken in very different places, sometimes even in different countries. For instance, in Mexico, Dano Tafoya captured something chilling at her workplace. Oigan, Check this out. Super aquí en el Imagínense que esto es un estacionamiento. Es este. Why do I recognize her face? Have I seen this one before? Chequen esto, por favor. Y ahorita les anexo la evidencia macabra. She writes, in the building that I work, it was about 11 p.m. and there was absolutely no one in the building besides the security guards. This is what Dano Tafoya captured on camera. I've seen it, mate. I've seen it. What is that? In the video, we can see what appears to be a crooked man with long arms and long legs. It's hovering. All of James. these videos. It's hovering. Okay, James? It's hovering. Right? It's got no bloody legs. So basically the same thing. Long arms and nah, long it's legs. Not that. It's not that. What is going on here? Is it just a coincidence? Maybe a hoax, or is there something to it? Something maybe far more sinister? I'll leave it up to you. What is your take on these strange videos? Mm. Wow. 
These are messed up, mate. Usually when people are sitting down with friends or family during dinner time and start talking about unexplained topics, it's very interesting how everyone has an unexplained story to tell. The thing is, most of the time... You see him, mate. You see him giving him evils. Like, what? What's this dude here? What's this? Look, giving him evils. An unexplained yeah. story yeah, to yeah, tell. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most of the times, there is a really good explanation to unexplained things caught on camera. Sometimes... Oh, what the fuck? That just bounced off of the air, mate. What just happened then? To... The thing is, most of the times, there is uh, a really boy? good explanation to unexplained things caught on camera. Sometimes, there isn't. Bro, what the f is this? A bear? It's no a man with way, no head. Bro. Oh, no, there's his head! Nobody's supposed to be up there, bro. What the you can't even see his face. Oh, oh sh my. shit. He just went transparent, mate. He just went cast for the friendly bloody spirit. My God, bro. That's just... Uh, that's just computer glitches, though. What the... What the... Bro. 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 Ooh. Bro, what the... What? No. Way. What are we looking at now? And I guess this is exactly the case with a social media account by the name of Pro Hood Winker. She was casually recording a moment in her life during the afternoon when she noticed something really strange, something that neither her or anyone on the internet could explain. This is what she caught on camera. What's up, guys? I'm watching this video on repeat. Your guys' comments are amazing. All right. And so Thanks for your service, mate. Carry on. Someone just pointed something out that I cannot believe what no, I'm seeing. All right. You see homeboys walk up to me with the dog. Right. The strange dog, right? But check this out. It's not a strange dog. Right here at 42 seconds, you can see through dude with the glasses as he's walking past the tree. You can see the tree through him. Watch this right here. Here we go. Hold up. Almost. So, which are we, are we looking at? As he's walking away. Right there. You see through the tree. Hey, it's just the fucking light shining down, mate. It's just the light shine. Look how, look how much blue. You got maximum bloom, please. As he's walking away. Mate, it's. It's bloom. It's bloody bloom, mate. And to be fair, it's only this little bit here. Where's the rest of it? Where's the rest of the tree? What are you on about? Right there, you see through the tree. Apparently, Pro Hood Winker was recording a moment in her afternoon. While she was tripping her tits off. When these two guys come up to her and start arguing about something. Well, she posted the video to her. Probably because she's tripping. Hey, girl, are you tripping? No, I'm not tripping. You shouldn't be tripping right now. And this is when one of her subscribers noticed that the guy in glasses is actually see-through, which is basically impossible. Some internet users are stating that this is just a camera yeah, glitch exactly. <laughs> due to the effect of the sunlight being contrary to the camera lens. However, even if that were to be a good explanation, it would not explain how we can actually see through the guy in glasses. But we're not, James. After the like, we're not, mate. That's his... That's the shadow of his fucking jacket. Video. Okay? Where? I don't see the fucking tree. I, like, let me look back here. Nope. Don't see the tree. It went viral. Many internet users were divided. It went viral? I'm just going to take some video footage of the fucking sun and see if that goes viral, mate. Some believe that this could actually be a glitch in the camera lens, while others think that this is a glitch in the simulation and that there is no explanation to it. <laughs> okay. So Pro Hoodwinker 
in reply to many internet users that were in doubt, posted another video. Now, in the second video, we can actually see what she's talking about, and it's very clear. We can actually see through the guy in glasses. He should, um, he should do a video, right? He should do a video and then say, look, here's me. I'm not see-through, but just record like a wall. <laughs> That'd be fucking brilliant. Many internet users were left completely baffled by this video and some suggest that this could actually be a legit glitch in the matrix. If you are completely baffled, please let me know. I'm not gonna take the piss, honestly, okay? Because there's lots of people out there. I could be totally wrong, all right? This is what makes us beautiful. We all have different opinions. But please, tell us what you think. If you are, if you are f for him being transparent or against him being transparent. Not for or against, but like, you know what I mean? Do you believe it or not? But I'm not too sure about this. What do you think? Is it actually possible that we're living inside some sort of digital simulation? Oh, there was a little bit there, to be fair. There was a little bit right through him, not his clothes. Right. There. Right here. A sort of... But the thing is, it's a shadow straight through there. If it was like, I don't know, if the tree bent that way and then came down there and you saw that through him, I'd be like, yeah, he's, he's fucking transparent. But it's just, it's just a, it's just like a shadow being cast through because of the, the beam of light. Digital. I don't know why I'm even, even explaining this to you. It's fucking common sense, man. Simulation that this video for instance is evidence of such thing or is it maybe just camera illusion or maybe something else it's like beaming into a camera lens and flicking and, and... what's your take <sighs> On October 31st, millions of people all over the world celebrate Halloween, a date where the dead are remembered and celebrated. It's as if in this specific date, a mysterious connection between the living and the non-living world somehow takes place. And in this date, when I was younger, I used to go trick or treating and I used to ask myself, do ghosts actually exist? That's to send your boy down there to investigate. <laughs> in this particular video, a father and a son feel bothered by something in the basement. They go to check it out, and this is what happens. Yeah, his mum's round the bloody corner. It's still gonna freak me out though, because I know I've seen it. It seems like it, the dad just taking him down there to, to creep him out or something. Oh. Oh, hang on. I'm freaking out a little bit here, mate. Oh, yeah. It's the mic. I have seen it. I have seen it. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Exactly. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Is this his dad? Like, it's his dad playing tricks on him. No, no, stop, stop, man. Stop, stop, stop. We've just seen a ghost, and literally a shadow bastard in the corner. What are we gonna do, Sam? What are we gonna do? Should we run? Should we try and fight it? Huh? He's playing the game. No, no, no. We make a break. There's nothing there. Stay by me. Stay right by me. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Just chill out, chill out. Hey, hey. Still there. All right, Jane, come on. Come out now. We've, we've had enough fun. It's still there. It's still there. What appears to be a shadow figure can be seen in the video. Now, if you don't know what a shadow person is, it's a shadow perception bastard. of a patch of shadow as a living humanoid figure and interpreted as the presence of a spirit or other entity by believers in the paranormal or natural. And officially, 
because experts have not been able to replicate a ghost in a laboratory, they are not recognized as something that exists. Oh. However, there are thousands of people, if not millions, which will report their experience with something paranormal, something that they can't explain. And some of these experiences and paranormal events will make anyone scratch their heads. And there are some videos out there which will do the same. And this is the case with this next video that we're about to watch that was published by Joseph oh. and Jovu. This is what he caught on camera. Oh, three o'clock, mate. <laughs> Why is this familiar? Oh my god, mate. Oh my god, oh my god. And if I know I saw this ages ago, but that's freaky as hell, mate. Oh, mate, that was Sky You for life. That's it. You're scarred for life. Congratulations. There's your ticket. If I can go home. Video, Joseph and Jovo seems to be worried about something. How it just swims through the air, mate. It's fucking... Oh, man. He looks at the clock. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. He looks outside. There is what appears to be a flying humanoid. This thing, whatever it is, is reflecting on the car window, which made me think at first this video could be real. Looking at the comments. Imagine if it is real, mate. There are dozens of people who think the video is real and there are others who think that the video is in part CGI or special effects. CGI? I'm not too sure though. Whatever this thing is, it's reflecting itself in the car window. So if it is special effects, it's really well done. It is well done. What's your take on this video and the other one that was shown before? And have you ever yourself had a paranormal experience? Nope. When I, I was so. younger living at my parents' house, I remember having these bunch of toys and dolls spread all over the house. And during the day, I used to play with them, no problem at all. But at night, I used to avoid them at all costs. It just creeped me out, and I don't know why. And it mm. still kinda does. The thing is, in some cultures, it is believed that dolls and toys can carry some sort of evil spirit or something like that. Really? And I'm not sure if this is the case with certain videos that we see, but recently there was a video uploaded to the internet of what appears to be a doll moving on its own. And this isn't the only video of such phenomenon. Check this oh, out. Oh no. Oh no. The dolls are getting straight at you? Oh it blinked! It fucking blinked mate! In the video, we can observe what appears to be the doll blinking, and the person that is recording this is completely oh, baffled. Oh man! By it. I've observed and watched this video over and over again, thinking that this might actually be a person pretending to be a doll, which would actually make sense. Would it make it even more bloody weird? But I don't think it's the case. No, I which don't think it this is. Even more mysterious. But even creepier is the fact that this isn't the first time that this happens. In a video posted by a Dimensional Paranormal YouTube channel in 2016, we can see something very similar caught on camera. Check this out. Oh, mate. Look at you looking at me. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Mary and Jojo. Holy crap, mate. In this video. He's like, ah, I'm fucking looking at you. I'm fucking looking at you. It is really clear. The statue closes its eyes or moves its eyes on its own. 
I'm pretty sure there might be an explanation for this. An explanation? What's that then, mate? But even so, it is as creepy as it can get. That blatant, that's blatantly, this is one of those like TikTok apps where like it makes pictures like open their eyes and close their eyes or something. But they're like, what? But it doesn't stop there. In Venezuela, there is a certain statue that is known for sometimes crying on its own. What? This that's my instance, missus. is the video of a statue known as my missus from Venezuela. I just have to ask her. As Jose Gregorio Hernandez. Check this out. <laughs> In the video, we can see that the statue appears to be crying, and at first I thought that the video could be fake, that maybe some people out there are throwing water in his eyes and making it look like he's yeah. crying. But it is a known fact in this specific town, in Unidad Educativa, Jose Gregorio Hernandez, in Charolave, so whatever is going on here, I can't seem to find an explanation for it. The only thing I can think of is that the material that it's made from has a tendency to gather moisture, you know, like the humidity over there, you know, I don't know, it just collects, it collects moisture somewhere inside it and then it drips through. That's the only weep hole or something, it just drips through. I don't know. I don't know. That's the only, that's, that's my theory. It's a theory. Now, what makes this all very unique is the fact that there are countless videos out there of dolls moving on their own and statues moving on their own. And I guess that most of the times, the explanation would be a change of temperature in the room or something like that. But in some cases, there's something more to it. And I guess that to this day, experts can't find a good explanation for it. In your opinion, have you ever seen something like this happening? And <laughs> what do you think about it? There you go, mate. Freaky deaky videos from That Is Impossible. Some proper mind benders there, mate. Some scratchy headies, all right? Um, please leave it in the comments. The, the ideas and suggestions that you think explain the weird videos we've just seen. Anyway, mate, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, please leave a like and subscribe and do the thing to this channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at kaspersite.com. Just Rambo it.